changing the cameras real quick. Okay, so today we're going to talk about simplifying expressions. This is two, four simplifying expressions, which is combining two, two, and two, three together. All right, so let's work some examples. I'm going to skip around a little bit. So starting with number three, okay, we're combining the like terms. That means I box and circle my like terms. So I'm going to box my variable terms. So 5w plus 7w, that gives me 12w, negative 6 plus negative eight, that gives me a negative 14. And there's my final answer. And next we're gonna do the distributive property. That's where we're gonna take and multiply what's on the outside to everything on the inside. So I'm gonna draw my arrows. So that means I'm doing negative four times two X, and then I'm doing negative four, so this is going to become, it's a minus, so I'm going to change this to plus and negative. So I'm doing plus negative four times negative nine. So I remember that that's a negative nine. And then I'm simplifying. So negative four times two, that's going to give me a negative eight X. Negative four times negative nine, that's going to give me a positive 36. So my final answer is negative eight X plus 36. Okay, moving right along. So for simplifying, this is where we combine it. So things we need to remember, an algebraic expression is in simplest form when it has no like terms and no parentheses. Make sure I spell this word correctly. No parentheses. So to simplify the order, your first step, you want to distribute. You want to look to see is there anything to distribute first. Second step is when we combine like terms. The first thing we do is look to see if there is anything to distribute. Then we combine our like terms. Okay, so let's jump and we're gonna look at number three. So I've got some parentheses here, so I'm gonna take the negative seven and I'm going to distribute it through. Now, if you need to write this step, then you write it. So I'm gonna have negative seven times W plus negative seven times four, and then I bring everything else down. Bring rest to next step. So I have plus two W minus 15. Okay, so I'm gonna have negative seven W plus negative 28 plus two W, I go to W minus 15. And now I box and circle my like terms. So I'm gonna box, I'm gonna have negative seven W plus two W, follow my integer rules, they're doing battle. The negatives win, so this is gonna be a negative five W. And then I have the positive, I'm sorry, the negative 28 and the negative 15. These are doing teamwork because they're both negative, so that means I'm gonna add them. I'm gonna have 28 plus 15 which is 13 carried by one, so 43. So this is going to be plus negative 43, or I could write this as negative five W minus 43. Both of these are correct answers. And the next page, working, we've got about three more examples we're gonna work. Here we go. Eat. Now with this one, something you need to remember is what numbers understood to be written right here, okay? That's understood to be a one, but it's just not written. 
So I distribute six. So now I'm gonna have six R, six times the negative two. So minus 12 minus one R plus 26 minus seven R. And now I box and circle my answers. So I have six R, negative one R, negative seven R. Okay. So six minus one R, that's gonna give me five R minus seven R. I'm gonna put them next to each other. And now I have the negative 12 plus the 26. Those are different signs. So I'm actually gonna subtract. So I'm gonna have 26 minus 12. The positives win. So I'm gonna have a positive answer. So we have four, 14. So that's a plus 14. And now I combine these terms, which gives me a negative 2R plus 14 as my final answer. Okay, next example, <coughs> number 10. This one throws us a little bit of a curveball, okay? The thing that we have to understand here is, remember, if it's a minus sign, I can change this to plus a negative. The reason that I suggest doing that is because it is very common for people to think, oh, I'm just going to distribute by six, but I have to distribute by the negative six. So this is going to be negative 2p plus negative six times p. Oops, that's a minus, so change that to plus a negative. So I'm going to have plus negative six times negative four plus 22. And now we simplify these two multiplications. So I'm gonna have negative 2P plus negative 6P plus 24 plus 22. And now we box and circle our like terms. So I'm gonna have negative two plus negative 6P. They're doing teamwork because they're both negative. So this is gonna be a negative 8P plus 24, plus 24, or 22. So they're the same team because they're both positive. So this is going to be plus 46. Yes, making sure I did my adding correctly. Okay, moving along. Number 14, <coughs> excuse me, for number 14, this is another curveball. That's a minus right there. What number's understood to be written right here? It is understood to be a one. So therefore, this is gonna become plus negative one times y minus two. And we distribute this negative one to everything inside. So I'm now gonna have 14y plus negative one times y plus negative one times negative two, because this becomes plus a negative. I'm gonna distribute the five, plus five times y, plus five times nine. And now I do all of this multiplication. So I have 14y plus negative one y plus two plus five y plus 45. And now I box and circle my like terms. 14 y plus negative one y. So that's gonna give me 13 y two plus 45. Well, at this point, I'm gonna bring down my other y term. So I'm gonna have plus five y and then two plus 45 is 47. And now I combine these terms and we end up with 18 y plus 47. And that is my final answer. Go ahead and finish up the um, notes.
and then come check it with me and I'll tell you what to do after that. Have a great day.